Hey everyone, it's Marquet here. Today we're diving into the world of open source operating systems. We're going to be exploring what makes each of these unique, why you might choose one over the other, and what sets them apart in the tech landscape. Now you might be wondering, why open source? Well, open source operating systems are all about transparency, collaboration, and customization. They offer a level of flexibility and control that you don't always get with proprietary software. Plus, with a global community of developers constantly working on improvements and updates, these operating systems are always evolving. So, whether you're a seasoned techie or just curious about the software that powers your devices, stick around. We're about to break down some of the most popular open source operating systems out there. Let's get started. First up, we have to talk about Linux. Now, Linux itself isn't actually an operating system, it's a kernel. Think of it as the heart of the OS, the core that interacts with your hardware. What makes Linux special is the sheer number of distributions built on top of it. Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, CentOS, the list goes on. Each of these distributions takes the Linux kernel and adds its own flavor, its own set of applications, desktop environments, and philosophies. This means you can find a Linux distro tailored to pretty much any need, from servers and workstations to personal computers and even Raspberry Pis. Ubuntu, for example, is known for its user-friendliness, making it a great choice for beginners, while Fedora is favored by developers for its cutting-edge features. And the best part? Most Linux distributions are completely free to use, distribute, and even modify. You can dive right into the source code, customize it to your liking, and contribute back to the community. Talk about freedom. Next, let's talk about FreeBSD. This one's a bit different. While still open source, FreeBSD isn't based on the Linux kernel. It's a descendant of the Berkeley software distribution, also known as BSD, and it has a reputation for being incredibly stable and secure. That rock-solid stability makes FreeBSD a favorite for servers and mission-critical systems where uptime is everything. You'll find it powering everything from web servers and firewalls to network appliances and high-performance computing clusters. But FreeBSD isn't just for servers. It can be a great desktop operating system too, especially if you value a clean, minimalist interface and a strong focus on security. Just be prepared for a bit of a learning curve, as FreeBSD is known for being a bit more hands-on than some other options on this list. Now, let's shift gears and talk about Chrome OS. This operating system, developed by Google, is all about simplicity and speed. Built on top of the Linux kernel, Chrome OS is designed to be lightweight and fast, booting up in seconds and running smoothly even on less powerful hardware. But what really sets Chrome OS apart is its focus on the cloud. It's heavily integrated with Google services like Gmail, Google Drive, and the Chrome browser. In fact, most of your work in Chrome OS happens within the browser itself, making it perfect for web browsing, online productivity, and streaming media. Chrome OS is a great choice for students, casual users, and anyone who lives their digital life in the cloud. It's secure, easy to use, and affordable with Chromebooks often coming in at very competitive prices. Of course, we can't forget about Android. It's the most popular mobile operating system in the world, powering billions of smartphones and tablets. And yes, Android is also built on top of the Linux kernel. But unlike traditional Linux distributions, Android has been heavily customized by Google to run on mobile devices. It features a touch-friendly interface, access to a massive app ecosystem through the Google Play Store, and tight integration with Google services. One of the things that makes Android so interesting is its openness. While Google develops the core Android platform, manufacturers are free to customize it and add their own features. This has led to a wide variety of Android devices at different price points, each with its own unique flavor. So, we've covered some of the biggest names in open source operating systems, but trust me, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The open source world is vast and diverse with countless other operating systems out there, each with its own strengths and specialties. For example, we have OpenSUSE, a community-driven distribution known for its stability and excellent package management system. Then there's Rocky Linux and Alma Linux, both emerging as stable and reliable alternatives for those seeking a CentOS replacement. And let's not forget about the BSD family, we talked about FreeBSD earlier, but there's also NetBSD, known for its portability and ability to run on a wide range of hardware, and OpenBSD with a relentless focus on security and code correctness. 
These are just a few examples and I encourage you to explore and discover the perfect open source OS for your needs. That's it for today's video. We've explored some of the most popular open source operating systems out there, from the versatility of Linux to the cloud-centric approach of Chrome OS. Hopefully this video has given you a better understanding of the open source landscape and what makes each of these operating systems unique. If you're feeling adventurous, I encourage you to try out a few different options and see which one resonates with you. You might be surprised at what you discover. And hey, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech deep dives. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.